A Perfect Pet by Margie Palantini. Elizabeth really, really, really wanted a pet. Her parents really, really, really did not. They gave her a plant instead. Mind you, it was a very good looking plant, as cactus plants go, and it had quite a prickly sense of humor. Elizabeth named it Carolyn, which seemed to suit it just fine. It was absolutely no trouble, and it was a very good listener. Snuggling was a bit of a challenge, however, Elizabeth did manage a quick hug now and then. Elizabeth really, really did like the plant, but she still really, really, really wanted a pet. And she had a plan. The element of surprise. So, how about a horse? Huh? What? Who? said father. Who? What? Huh? said mother. I could ride it, give it carrots, lumps of sugar. A horse would be the perfect pet. What do you say? Father yawned. A horse is too big. Mother sighed. Our yard is too small. Why, it would eat us out of the house and home, said father. A horse is not quite perfect, dear, said mother, going back to sleep. Not quite perfect, said father sleepily. Scratch the horse catch them off guard. What about a dog? Huh? What? Who? said father as he stood in front of the mirror shaving. What? Huh? Who? said mother peeking from behind the shower curtain and dripping soapy water. I could take it for walks, teach it tricks, feed it treats, play fetch. A dog would be the perfect pet. What do you think? Father spit shaving cream. Dogs bark. They're much too loud. Mother grabbed a towel. They jump all over the furniture. A dog is not quite perfect, Elizabeth, said father as he shaved. Not quite perfect, called mother from the shower. Forget Fido. The full stomach. Burp. You know what would hit the spot right about now, asked Elizabeth. I'm thinking a cat. Huh? What? Who? said father. Who? What? Huh? said mother. A cat could lick the plates, curl up in my lap, drink leftover milk, and we'd always know what to do with all that extra string. A cat would be the perfect pet. So how about it? Father picked up the newspaper. Cats scratch. Mother cleared the table. Cats shed all over. A cat is definitely not the perfect pet, said father. Achoo! I'm sneezing already, said mother. Cross off kitty. Go for broke. How about a bird, bunny, turtle, fish, guinea pig, rat, any, all? Take your pick, said Elizabeth. Her parents looked at each other. Nope, afraid not. Not quite. Too fishy. Uh-uh. Don't even go there. What's left? Moaned Elizabeth. Doug. Elizabeth was thinking she would never find the really, really, really perfect pet. When, what do you know? She really, really did. In fact, she almost stepped on it. Right there on her rug, a bug. Elizabeth picked him up. She held him in her hand, looked him in the eyes. He wasn't too big. He most definitely was not too loud. He couldn't jump on the furniture, didn't scratch, didn't shed. And how much food could he possibly eat? He was the perfect pet. Carolyn totally agreed. Snug. Doug moved right into the lovely house in the corner of Elizabeth's room. It had everything a bug could possibly want and more, including his very own cactus plant. As Carolyn was only a hop, skip, and jump away, he truly enjoyed sunning himself in her sand. Of course, 
Elizabeth provided him with enough crumbs to satisfy any growing bug's appetite. As expected, their relationship was a tad different than the usual. Doug could not give Elizabeth a pony ride. She could not take him for a walk. He could not catch a, catch a ball or fetch, no matter how many times they practiced. And try as he might, Doug just couldn't get the hang of playing with string. But he was very helpful with homework. He always knew where to put a decimal or a period. And he loved snuggling up with Elizabeth each night for a story. What more could you ask? He was perfect. Unsnugged. With all those crumbs and plenty of sun, Doug grew by leaps and bounds. He was one big, healthy bug, and then some. The only trouble really, really, really came out one Saturday morning, many weeks later. Elizabeth's mother came into the bedroom to get the laundry and, there's a bug in that bed, she screamed. A bug, shouted father, ready to swat. That's Doug said Elizabeth very protectively. He's my pet. Her parents looked at each other. Pet? Pet, said Elizabeth, just like you wanted. He's not big like a horse. He isn't loud like a dog. He doesn't jump on furniture, scratch or shed, and he hardly eats a thing. But a, a bug, asked father. A bug, repeated mother. Doug said Elizabeth, and he's perfect. One big happy family. Think we should have said yes to the dog, whispered father to mother. Mother shrugged. I don't know. We have more room on the couch with the bug. Elizabeth smiled and tossed Doug a piece of popcorn.